appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars of Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, Holy Cell TV, that is. What up, world? It's your boy, BA For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, we are back for Battle Rapper Snitching Part 2, and I promise this is my last one, y'all. I'm going to get back to the bars. I know that we got a lot of WWE stuff going on, and if you actually want to get in depth, more in depth with this, uh, what I mean by battle rap snitching, uh, make sure you check out my live I did uh, last night. I did a live last night, um, and it was uh, very intelling, you know. And it was battle rap, battle rappers telling on each other about certain things that they do behind the scenes. And the reason why this is a pet peeve of mine specifically is because if it's going to be like WWE and it's going to be staged for pure fans such as myself, I don't want to hear what's going on. I want to think the shit is real. I want to think that they really have animosity and that niggas really be like, I'm better than you and this all of that. I want, I want niggas to really feel that way. It takes the passion out. But with that being said, getting into, uh, I woke up this, I woke up uh, earlier today and I was uh, I caught the tail end of uh, shout out to Caps Angry Fan him and Harlem Legend and Piper Boy were all on uh, Angry Fans Live and uh, Loaded Lux of course pulls up and Loaded Lux um, he 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 starts yelling at media gets mad at media put a name on it say this do that and I believe that y'all what y'all say affects the culture you're definitely correct sir what we do what we do say does affect the culture but. This is what media does. They report a lot of different things. This is what bloggers do in general. Fuck a media, but this is what it does. It kind of keeps the battle rap lit. It kind of keeps battle rap lit, especially if battle rap is starting to act, starting to portray itself with being not real. And I'm not saying that every battle rapper does it, but it's just odd that this keeps getting leaked out. And as it keeps getting leaked out, people keep telling on each other. Like, seriously. And out of all people, like I said in my live last night, we pointed out everybody who was telling. We pointed out everybody who was telling. And my whole thing to battle rappers was just shut the fuck up and rap. We respect and we love y'all. We love y'all craft. We look we look at y'all and be like, man, damn, man. We you step away from life and we be like, damn, come on, let's go. It's like wrestling. It's like watching movies and shit. But we have some some spark in our mind says, OK, this this is possibly the last purest form of hip hop, especially of those of us who have done music or have been writers and have done that, uh, done all of that type of stuff in prior lives or currently doing it. But it breaks my heart to present to y'all today. Mr. Loaded Lux, he jumped out the window, man. He jumped out the window today, and I don't know why he just jumped out the window because he's so loaded. Lux is so intelligent, man. He, you know, Harlem Hospital giving beds out. Like Harlem Hospital was giving beds out during this pop up on Angry Fan Show, and I hate that I have to come out like this and say this and say that, but I gotta keep it one hundred. Loaded Lux, welcome to the club. Please, I respect you so much. You're one of the greatest to ever do this. But when it comes to this situation and stuff that's happening, shut the fuck up. You're Loaded Lux. You're in Battle Rap Mountain Olympus. You don't gotta say nothing. Similar to JC, JC, you don't gotta say nothing either because you started the dry snitch. And then Loaded Lux just closed the door and told everybody, oh, my goodness, you know, Surf called me and he wanted to rehearse and stuff with me, yada, yada, yada. Why? You didn't even have to even bring Surf up. You didn't have to say nothing about it. You could have came up and just said the one thing that you had said about uh, uh, whole battle rappers accountable, this, that, this, that. That's all you had to say, sir. But you went to snitch. And why you snitching Loaded Lux? You don't have to snitch. This is passion talking. This ain't hate. This is passion. Because everybody in battle rap looks at you as a battle rap god for real. You are one of the forefathers along with Mook in this whole thing. What you telling on other battle rappers and you tell them what's going on behind the scene. Like, why are you doing this? We don't want to know this. What do we call that? We call that snitching. 
JC started with the dry and you just actually full out snitched on on serve. Oh, he called me. And for those of you who do not, for those of you who want to hear this, I do have a little clip and see what I'm talking about. See where I'm coming from. It's going to be a short clip, y'all. But hey, hang in there. Let's go. I'll be totally wholehearted with you. The nigga surf came to me about some shit like this before. I said, right. Talking about. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Say it again. Say it again. Wait, wait. We got to hear that clear. I got to hear this clear. You said Surf came to you one day and said that? When we was about to pass it, hold on. You like, oh, wow. So listen. Exclusive. Niggas understand we influential and what you do with your voice, man, it could either hurt us or help us. And I'm saying that to all of us that's in this shit, man. You see what I'm talking about? Why? Why did you did you throw surf under the bus? And it's okay to put it's okay to hold people accountable, such as yourself. But if you know that this is spilling up and you're so caught up in the culture because this is something you built, why even present that to the people? Why present this out to the people knowing that it's going to ruin and indent the culture? You know that. You're a very intelligent guy. You've been around for years, Lux. Years, Lux. And for those of you who are falling in now, we're going to run this back. Because like I said, this is very disturbing. When we got God tier battle rappers stepping in and we just like with Averb. I hate what Averb just did. Respect Averb. He's one of the greatest to ever do this shit for real. And I say that very passionate. But Averb running his mouth. Oh, yeah, they've been doing this. John John, one of the greatest to ever do this. Running his mouth. No, don't do this to the culture. Well, you've already done it. But Loaded Lux, say what you were saying again, sir. Hmm? I'll be totally wholehearted with you. The nigga surf came to me about some shit like this before. I said, right. Talking about. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Say it again, say it again. Wait, wait, we got to hear that clear. I got to hear this clear. You said Surf came to you one day and said that? When we was about to pass it, hold on. You like, oh, wow. So listen. Exclusive. Niggas understand we influential and what you do with your voice, man. It could either hurt us or help us. And I'm saying that to all of us that's in this shit, man. They... Mm. And let's go back, though, with the dry snitch. And You know, just, you know, niggas didn't want to hear it. I, I get it. You know, I've been there. I understand, I understand that. I've been in the room where, you know, hey, this ain't this ain't the day for that. You know, you, you, you kind of, like I said, you can't tell kids that Santa Claus ain't real. And... If you're going to tell them, you don't choose December 25th to do it. You understand what I'm saying? So that was that was why the, you know, the it, it just looked like that. I understood it all. But, you know, the mission is always complete the objective. You know, get 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 your material out and let it let it, you know, sit for later dissection. And anybody could do what they want to do with it afterwards. And, and we move on to the next one. Um, having said all that, like I said, I won't get too deep into it simply because um it's battle rap and surf is is you know surf is um, unfortunately locked down so i'm not going to say anything that um you know what would, would would provoke him to defend himself to where he can't you know i would never i'm not going to say nothing that's not the type of person i am where and 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 like i said i you we all know surf would respond to Wow. Wow. Now tell me what y'all think about this. Tell me. Tell me in that comment section. I don't understand it. Like I said, I think battle rappers just need to shut the fuck up. Respectfully. Please. If you want to help the culture, please. Shut the fuck up and just do what you do best. You feel me? And if you are speaking about anything outside of your craft, uh, speak about your brand. Speak about your brand. Speak about other shit. You feel me? Or talk shit to other battle rappers to, to make it entertaining or something. Do something like that. I know this is for entertainment purposes only. I know this.
But y'all don't have to ramble. And y'all don't have to get on uh, big platforms and start telling on yourselves. And if you're not telling on yourself, you're, it's like, if you ain't telling on yourself, you're telling on somebody else. And to me, that says a lot. That says a lot of things that are not good. That's what I'm going to say. And I'm not going to ramble. I didn't, I didn't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to show y'all my perspective of this whole situation that's going on. You feel me? I felt like from it was one, it was it's like a snowball effect, and now this shit is big, and we have a huge battle rap event that's going on tomorrow. And this battle rap event, I get, get, guarantee you, the real ones in this culture is gonna be looking at these battlers funny. They're gonna be looking at these battle battlers funny, and not every, not all you battlers even rehearse, but they're gonna be looking at battlers like, yo, y'all, y'all been rehearsing. Let's see how they move. Let's see how they react to each other. Please, please. We have to restore order. And I hate that cliche term, but it's definitely needed right now. But anyways, this is your boy BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you're out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbling upon this whole content, and I've been here for a minute and you hating, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, like I said, let me know what y'all think about this and how y'all feel about this. And uh, we'll go from there until the next time. Hopefully don't nobody else snitch because I'm not, this is my last video on it. Loaded Lux just disappointed me as a fan by even coming out from Mount uh, from Mount Olympus just to talk about this shit and yell and scream at the bloggers when it ain't even the bloggers' fault. Period. Anyways, peace and love, y'all. Holla. Hey, yo, get your bars up media, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.